Did you ever wish you had a quick synopsis of emotions and behaviors? I'm Kelly Rhodes with Body and Behavior Institute. As you move through your day, your organs and survival systems pick up tiny cues in your environment, sights, smells, sounds, sensations. And as they respond to these environmental cues, they contort and contract, open and release. Smooth muscles elongate, stomach muscles, facial muscles. Heart rate, oxygen, digestion, thousands of biological events adjust to respond to threats and rewards in your environment. Those motions of the organs and systems of your body are emotions. Most of these are so subtle, they're not consciously perceived. When those emotions are intense enough to be consciously perceived, these are feelings. When the emotions require you to do something, say eat an apple, drink water, protect your body from impact, rain or heat, or maybe run from something, these are behaviors. And that whole trajectory of biological events from the environmental cues to emotions and feelings and behaviors are recorded in your neural circuitry. So the next time you encounter the same or similar environmental event, your body doesn't have to figure it out on the fly. It just performs the same emotions and behaviors that kept you alive the last time. Once that neural circuitry is established, any of the biological events in that trajectory from the environmental cue through each of these can turn on that whole trajectory. Think of neural circuitry like grooves. The more times you experience an event, the deeper that groove becomes. The deeper the groove, the more likely you are to experience some or all of those biological events in the trajectory. Subtle cues from your environment, sights, sounds, smells, sensations, even memories, whether intentional or unintentional. Cues often so subtle you don't even know they happened can stimulate that trajectory of movements, of organs, systems, and feelings, even behaviors, again. This emotion behavior trajectory is in response to each individual's lived experience. That's emotions, feelings, and behaviors in a nutshell. I've included links to the research I referenced in this video in the description. I'm Kelly Rhodes with Body and Behavior Institute. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe.